Hello everyone, I am Shweta and welcome to my channel Analytics by Shweta. In today's video, we will learn how to create a column grid chart in Excel. If you see, we have the various columns and each column is represented in a grid fashion. And here we have the data labels for each of these series. It is a dynamic chart, so if you change the series, it will automatically change. So as it is in a grid shape format, it is called as a column grid. Let's go ahead and create this chart. We have our data over here. We have the products, we have the sales percentage for them, and then we have the maximum percentage. The maximum percentage is 100 for each of these. Go ahead and select your data, go to insert, and insert a clustered column chart. Go here, adjust your series. The minimum would be zero and the maximum would be one. Let's go ahead and delete the grid lines. Next, what you need to do is go to insert, go to shapes and insert a square shape. You have inserted a square shape, give it a color. I am giving it a green color. Next, you need to give it an outline. So I'm giving it a white outline. Remember, giving this white outline is very important else your chart will not be visually appealing. It will not show the grid effect. Next is we copy the square and make a gray format. Now what you need to do is copy the gray box, go onto your Max and paste it. Then Go to your fill option. In stack and scale width, put it as 0.1. And now if you see, we have a grid effect. Do the same for the other. Copy the green one, go to sales, paste it. Then go to the fill in stack and scale width, put it as 0.1. So now we have both our series in a grid fashion. Select the max series and do an overlap of 100% and a gap width of 21%. Now if you see in our chart, the max series is completely on top of the sales series. We cannot see the sales series. So to rectify that, go to chart design, go to select data and in sales, just move it down and do OK and just adjust your chart a bit. So now if you see, we have our entire series and then we have the filled portion in green color. This is completely in a grid fashion. The next step is to just add the data labels. So we have added the data labels, just bold it and increase the font. Next is we do not require the series so we can remove this. We do not require the legend so we remove this. And this chart is a completely dynamic chart. For example, if you put 75% over here, your chart updates automatically and it's a completely grid fashion. The fill series is also a grid and the remaining series is also a grid. So this is how you create a column grid chart in Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more updates. Thank you for your time and have a nice day.